Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to root your Galaxy Note device and also install a custom recovery on it as well. Now, this video is made using a Samsung Galaxy Note for AT&T with a model number of i717. But it will work, this process will work on most versions of the Note regardless. And this is the Galaxy Note 1 okay so here are the here are the three files we will need for this process you're gonna need Odin you're gonna need a custom recovery for Galaxy Note and you are going to need Super SU installable zip file I'm going to show you where to get these in a second this is going to be a very simple process what you are doing is a sequential process so first you install the custom recovery using Odin and then you install Super SU using the custom recovery, and you're done. So let's, uh, that's all there is, there is to it. So let's uh, dive in. Okay, so what I want you to do is head on over to my website at SakiTechOnline.com, and then go to Downloads. Okay, once you're in the Downloads, I have all the three files linked right here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to TWRP Recovery. Okay, and then you're going to get Super SU, oops, Super SU, TWRP, and then at the bottom somewhere, you've got Odin. Okay, so if you click the link to Odin, you go right over here. This is a forum on XDA Developers website, and if you go down, it's going to, you're going to see a box right here, and then you have to download all versions of Odin, and that's the way it's packaged. So if you click download here, it's going to take you to the download link and you're going to download all links of Odin and remember with Odin specific versions of Odin work with specific version of Samsung devices so if you look at Odin version 1.85 and if you click to show content you're going to see a list of all the phones that work with this version of Odin okay and then if you click this you'll see all the phones that work with this version of Odin so this is why I said this process, this whole routing process, can work for any Note device as long as you uh, download the right uh, files. The process itself is exactly the same for everything. So let's go back to my um, website after you downloaded that. Go up and let's go and get the TWRP custom recovery. Okay, so that is a um, recovery we're going to be using. So on the top right, you're going to see it says get TWRP for your device. So click that. And then over here, all I want you to click is view all supported devices. Once you click that, it's going to take you to a long list of devices that are supported. From this list, what you want to do is you want to find your specific version of the note. In my case, here's the one that I have right here okay so that's TWRP for Samsung Galaxy Note i717 that's the model number okay so if I click this what you want to do is you want to get the tar file so all the way at the bottom this says download the latest tar from one of the following URLs so click this at the bottom here make sure you get the tar file okay so click this and then all the way at the bottom you'll see the latest version of TWRP and you want to get the tar.tar .tar file okay so click that and in 10 seconds the download will start remember the key is to get the right files for the right device okay so the download is supposed to start automatically and it's right there okay so that was a second file that we have right now so let's go back to my website and on my website the last thing we want to get is the super su this is the file that is going to root our phone and this is actually the same for many 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 phones so if you click this link it's going to take you to xda developers and you're going to come to a thread okay and if you scroll down in the download section make sure you download the installable zip okay don't touch this don't touch this get the installable zip 
So if you click that, it takes you to another link, and all you do is you click Download Update Super SU. Click it, and the download shall start. Okay, so let's, uh, now that we have all the three files we require, let's move on to the next step. Okay, once we have all the three files, go to your desktop and create a folder that is named root note. Okay, and then when you when I click this, all the three files that I downloaded just a couple seconds ago, I put them all in here for easy reference. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is extract the Odin file. So right click, 7-zip, extract. Okay, and then go inside of Odin. And remember, the one we're going to be using for the Galaxy Note uh, for AT&T is version 1.85. So click that and go ahead and run this thing. Yes. Okay, so this can stay right here. And I'm going to switch over to my phone and show you what to do on the phone. All right, so back at the phone, what you want to do is you want to turn off your phone. And we are going to go into the download mode for the Samsung. Okay, to go into download mode, all you do is you press and hold volume down and power at the same time. So, at the same time, and when you you're gonna see, you're gonna see that screen, and in this screen it says, click volume up to continue. So you click volume up, and now you're in the download mode. When you're in the download mode, you can actually go ahead and you can connect your micro USB cable to your phone just like that. And once you do that, and if you look at my computer, you will see that on the Odin, a yellow light just popped up and it's saying zero com something. That means Odin is currently working and we're good to go. Okay, so let's uh, switch back to my computer. I'm going to show you what to do exactly. Now remember what I told you in the beginning of the video. We're going to be using Odin to install the custom recovery on our phone. So what you want to do here is you want to click PDA and make sure this light is yellow. Okay, so you want to click PDA, go to desktop, in the root note folder, choose the custom recovery. Here's the TWRP custom recovery for the Galaxy Note. Click open and then make sure everything here looks exactly like mine. Okay, you don't have to do auto reboot or or F reset, but just leave it leave it as it is. Okay, and click start. Okay, in a couple seconds the process is going to complete. It says reset. The phone is going to restart and you're going to get a pass code which means everything went perfectly well. Now at this point what I want you to do is make sure the phone reboots back up and logs into your regular Android system. Okay and you can actually minimize this and then go to my computer and at this point you should be seeing your Samsung device in your my computer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move a file into your Samsung's internal storage. So go inside of Samsung Here's the phone, and then go back to the downloads folder that we created, which is, I'm, I'm sorry, the root note folder, which is right here. And then what I want you to do is grab this update super SU file, right click, copy, and put it into the root of your Samsung device. So paste that, and you're done. Now I'm going to switch back to my phone and show you how to complete the process of routing. But you're actually done with the computer itself. Everything else that's going to happen is going to happen on my phone. Okay, so let's switch over to my phone and show you how to complete the process. Okay, so back in the phone, what you want to do is you can unplug the phone from the computer because you do not need a computer anymore. Once you do that, power off your phone. Power off. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to log into the custom recovery which we just installed onto the phone. To go into custom recovery, what you want to do is you want to press and hold the volume up and down at the same time 
and then press the power button okay volume up and down at the same time and then press the power button so let's do that right now and then this when you feel a vibration let the power button go which I just did and then when you see the Samsung flashing let the volume up and down go as well and now you're logging into the TWRP custom recovery okay so once you're here let me just zoom in a little bit more go to install and what you want to do I'm just gonna show you from the beginning when you go to install if you don't see this folder right away you just have to know where exactly to go so up here it says storage EMMC so that's what you're looking for so if I look for EMMC it's right here that is the main storage of the phone the internal storage okay so if you go to EMMC that is the internal storage of my phone where I just copied the super SU file so if I go all the way to the bottom there is my super SU file so it's update super SU version 1.55 zip you tap on it and what you do is you swipe to confirm flash flash means install okay and we're done so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reboot the system it's gonna go back into my Galaxy Note okay so once the phone is back into the lock screen go inside the phone and I'm gonna show you how to confirm that you're rooted so go to applications and then find the super SU application which is right here okay so that inverted triangle triangle is the super SU file so when you tap that just say no thanks for now go to settings it says enable super user that means you're good to go okay so once super user is enabled that means you are rooted remember this is a simple sequential process you install the custom recovery using Odin and then you install super SU using the custom recovery anyway thank you for watching uh, subscribe to me and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video also go ahead and uh, connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter see you the next time